once again, it is Ryan from Denton Gaming, here with another video on how to port forward the Technicolor and Thompson routers once again. And the reason why I'm doing this is purely because the interface has changed and I thought I might as well make another video to update you guys. So without further ado, you would want to open up your web browser and in the address bar you would want to type in 10.0.0.138 which is the IP address for technical and Thompson routers, which is just, which is what this tutorial is actually based on. And if you don't have any of those routers, whatever version, then you should probably click on this video because it isn't going to help you. Although it could, because most routers these days are quite similar in, in ways. So without further ado, uh, you want to go to your web address for your, you'll get your default gateway IP address for your router, which is commonly 10.0.0.138. But if uh, it's not, then you can simply go to CMD, type in ipconfig, and it should say right here, default gateway 10.0.0.138, which is in fact my default gateway. So once you're there, you may come up with a login prompt and it'll have passwords on the screen and user username and passwords on the screen here to show potential pa username and passwords for your router. If, if none of those work, then it's probably because your parents or whoever has administrative access to your router has changed the password, which you can ask quite kindly to your parents or whoever is your administrator to give you access to your router. Or you can ask them to port forward uh, the port for them, whatever you want to do. So without further ado, let's go over to the setting uh, the services tab here. So you want to click on that and then click on the port forwarding sub tab. It's got all the way down to the bottom. You probably won't have all these ports if you haven't port forward anything. And then you want to go and click on add new port mapping. Move that to load. So for some reason I've right clicked. And at the bottom here you have some boxes to fill in. So the first box here, it will be the name of your port forwarding. And I shall just name this port forwarding tutorial for tutorial purposes. Usually you would want to click on TCP and UDP, but if there's only a specific port, uh, type that you want to do, say for instance if you just want to port forward for TCP or UDP, then you click on one of those, but for tutorial's sake, I'm going to do both, which is commonly what you would usually want to do. So first of all, what you would want to do is type in the port for this. In this case, I'm just going to do a Minecraft port, because that's all I can remember right now, which is 255.65. Type it in for both. And then type in your local IP address, your IPv4 address, which you can find once again on your CMD. Other way, I just press Windows R, then type in CMD and enter, which are, which commonly opens the uh, run console. And then once you're here, you can type in ipconfig once again. And as you can see here, my IPv4 address is 10.0.0.30. So I will type that in. A nice little update about this interface here is that you can type in just 10 and you can scroll through all your list here for the IP addresses and you can just easily find your own which as you can see here my computer's name is Ryan PC so I can just click on that and boom. Now what we want to do here is click on the blue add button so once you click that it will add that to the port forwarding list and your port should be port forwarded for some reason it is not showing anything oh there we go as you can see it's at the bottom with all the other ports that I have open here and you can check out if it's actually working by going to a new tab and typing in uh, check port or can you see me.org that's the uh, one that I was thinking of and you can type in your port which I already have it uh, selected here for some odd reason click on check port and by rights, the port should be open for the IP address given, which is the IPv6 address. For some reason, it's not showing it, which I probably did something wrong, but usually it's just, I don't know why it does that, but sometimes it just does not work on this website. So chances are that it actually probably does work, but for some reason, this website does not pick it up. Anyway, guys, that is enough for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.